It's beer o'clock on Reload Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Wylam Brewery and it's a bottle of Into the Mystic New England Pale Ale coming in at 5.8% ABV. There's a look at the label. There's the bottle cap. Let's get the beer out into a glass and see what we get. It is July 2017. Nice bit of smoke on the opening. And I bought a collaboration beer back in January, Cloudwater and Wylam. And I was making one of those fancy videos that I sometimes make. And I put it in my coat pocket, the bottle, and as I went to get out my car, the bottle, bottle fell out the can, smashed on the floor, and I was gutted. I've not, never tried a Wylam beer before, um, but the smell as this beer hit the floor was incredible. The sma the, it smashed and it was just a perfume of hops. I've never been so gutted in all my life. Um, there we go, there's that New England cloudiness at the bottom of the, the bottle there. Uh, the beer is available from beersofeurope.co.uk, largest online beer store in the UK with a fantastic range of beer from all around the world. If you want to check out more, check out the description box of this video. You'll find a link to their website, beersofeurope.co.uk. Two finger white head. Looks pretty good. Looks like a New England style IPA. Good levels of carbonation. Good head, 5.8% ABV and a nice typical haze for this style of beer. Golden in colour, let's get the aroma. Oh yeah! To be honest, it's great that Beers of Europe have got this selection of beer. Um, a lot of people have been talking about Wylam. Um, pretty good, pretty good uh, brewery. And it's good to get, it's good that the beers are on their website, you can kind of just go pluck them and buy them and drink them. But yeah, the, the, the aroma is a little bit of peppery smite, bit of peppery spice. And then it's all tropical fruit, mango, grapefruit, a little bit of apricot, lime, touch of lemon, passion fruit. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Mm. Oh yeah, Stone the Crow. Stone the Crow's what a fantastic beer. Really tropical, very tropical. Very close to the New England style. There's a little stickiness to it. That's the amount of hops that they've added to the beer. You just get a little bit of stickiness from that resin on your lips and you just feel that little bit of tackiness on the inside of the mouth. And then it's all flavour. There's a little bit of biscuity malt. There's a little bit of carbonation spring in the beer on the inside of the mouth. And then it's all about that lovely, lovely tropical fruit. That mango, that passion fruit, that grapefruit, that orange peel, that fleshy blood orange. Yeah, fantastic, fantastic beer. Great drinkability. And if I'm not careful, I'm going to drink the beer very, very quickly. It's just slipping down, slipping down. So fantastic aroma, fantastic, fantastic flavour. Good. Look at the conditioning on the, gla on the glass. Look at the conditioning in the beer. Yeah, that's nice. It's very nice. Uh, what the Wylam say? Probably not too much. Breweries these days don't really say too much about their beers. Uh, some breweries years ago, they used to put great big descriptions on the, the, the labels. I think maybe Stone Brewing Company is still doing it. Um, yeah, they brewed at Newcastle upon Time in the UK. 
Palace of Arts exhibition pack. Fantastic. Let's rate it. Good aroma, good taste, good luck to this New England IPA. Yeah, Stone the Crows, Stone the Crows beer. I like that enough to give it an eight out of ten. It's an eight out of ten from Real Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom and cheers.